Welcome again to the Truth Guitar Channel. This is Gary Hudson of FolkstoneGuitars.com. Also check us out at BadassBeaters.com. This is the Badass Beater Strat that I've decided to make as the most likely candidate for the Beater Strat. It's from RondoMusic.com and it's affordable enough for me to modify it and still resell it at a good price, at a beater price. This is a great candidate to uh, modify. I mean you can just do all kinds of things to this. This is a nice uh, very well made Stratocaster especially for the money. I like the uh, headstock shape. Comes with some good tuners. The only criticism I have of the guitar is that the fret ends were sharp. The frets apparently are all level but they are good jumbo nickel frets, good quality fret wire, but the edges are rough, they're, they're sharp, so they definitely will be dressed by me in my neck jig, and they'll be all nice and smooth when I'm done. What I'm really impressed with is the body of the guitar. This thing has a one-piece swamp ash body, and this is U.S. or North American, they say, North American swamp ash, and it is one piece, man. I mean, look at that. There's no board. No boards connecting there. Not a two piece, it's a one piece. And I don't even know where you can find such things. But I just think that is really cool. A one piece swamp ash body. Wow, you know, I mean, that's, that's far out. So I'm going to be pulling this thing apart and getting it ready for the modifications. The pickups it comes with are pretty damn good. Uh, this set, uh, unlike the Agile Strat, the white one I had, uh, these stock pickups are great. The stock pickups that came in the Agile Strat from Rondo were not. Uh, these pickups are more like the SX Furian uh, single coils in quality. And this being an SX Leo, made by the same uh, uh, Asian factory is probably the reason why these are also good pickups and so they're not bad I can use them in another guitar or I could mod this one a different way with these pickups but I got some some great pickups that I've been using for years that are going into this and I'll be telling you all about that as well Okay, now we've got the SX Leo guitar uh, taken apart, and um, I'm going to show you some of the parts that we're going to replace and why it's necessary. Uh, first of all, this body is excellent for modification. It comes with an HSH route out in the uh, Swamp Ash, one piece Swamp Ash body. Really great for uh, a mod. It's got a great finish on it, very good finish. And uh, this is what come out. The pickups are good on this guitar, but uh, the controls, yeah, they're those uh, cheap dime size Asian pots, and uh, they're really not any good. They don't last, uh, they don't work very well, um, they just don't work good for sound and electronics. Um, the um, switch is the one of these cheap Asian switches that uh, I don't care much for because they if you're going to gig with this guitar, you want something that's going to last, and these switches really don't, they don't hold up that great. They're not designed to. I mean, what do you expect? The guitar is only $159. So, you know, you're not going to get a CTS pots and a sealed switch. Uh, they're just not going to come in a guitar like this. But I'll tell you this, the pickups in this thing uh, do sound good, and I'm going to keep them around and probably use them in something else. All right, this body... Uh, First of all, the, the tail piece that it has is, um, I mean, it's okay, but it's, it's not of the grade that I would want for a beater guitar. It's not going to hold up under a lot of stress. Uh, it's not going to be that great for holding tuning. The saddles are great. Um, these uh, uh, single point saddles. Uh, much better than the uh, butter knife saddles you get with a Strat, a USA Strat. Uh, and all this fits very nicely in here. 
as you can see. But um, there's two things I don't like about it. I don't like the, the, the block. It's one of these real small blocks. I, I like the fact that it's lightweight, but uh, it just doesn't carry much for tone and for uh, um, doing, using the whammy bar. Uh, not that great of a block for that. Much better off with a, with a big steel block. Also, the plate is uh, rather rather thin. The uh, bridge plate here, this part, is rather a thin plate, and I just don't care to have that in a as a premium grade hardware to be, you know, to be to really take the abuse. And uh, I want things that are going to hold up and last, and that doesn't appear like it's going to take very much. But I've got these, and um, I can pick these up for about. 19 or or somewhere around 1995 um, or 24.95 uh, on uh, eBay. So anywhere between 20 and 25 bucks, I can pick up these. They come with saddles. They come with the Fender uh, Mex uh, saddles. This is a Fender block. Uh, notice it's a big steel block. It's much larger than uh, what came with the guitar. This is the kind of block that comes in Squires that came with this uh, Leo. This is the kind that comes with a USA and Mexican strats. Much better. And also notice that the thickness of the block is what you want. You can see where it's got thicker metal on the, uh, on the block. And not only that, but the plate is a lot thicker. You see the thickness of that plate. Let's see if we can make a comparison here. We'll just set them down here on the bench and we'll see if we can see the difference. Notice the difference here uh, between the plates and turn them around the right way and uh, you can see the thickness of the of the bridge plate on the right compared to that thickness there. You see that? That's what you want. You want something strong that's not going to bend and it's not going to give so easily. Um, and there's a big difference in the steel block. So we're going to put this in the badass beaters. This block and this plate. Now, we're going to use the old saddles because there's nothing wrong with these. But in order to do this, notice what this one goes in here. We've got a space right here, which I see on some fenders and I don't particularly like. It's not supposed to be back that far. But this is a wider plate, so it's going to do that. So, I'm going to need to actually take and, and uh, I'm going to need to patch these holes, put dowels in them, glue them over, and I'm going to put oak dowels in there so it'll be nice and hard. And then I'm going to smooth that over and then re drill the holes. And they're going to have to come up probably somewhere around of an eighth of an inch forward, as you can see, for this old plate or for the new plate rather, to go in the old holes, this needs to go up like that. So there'll need to be new holes there because there's a space, there's a gap here on this side right there. You see that gap? Oh, we don't like that. And not only that, when this thing goes forward to whammy, the block is hitting inside. So it needs to go forward about from where these holes were, it needs to go up and uh, it needs to go about right there. That's about where we're going to want it with the um, new um, a new pick guard that's also going in and I'll be showing you some stuff about that too. Now as far as the rest of the tremolo, uh, no problem. Uh, you look back here and uh, we've got a good, perfectly good big hanger. Nothing wrong with that. Good uh, wood screws going into the ash. And uh, no problem with the rest of the guitar. It's got uh, good strap pins, good strong strap pins on it. And um, so we're ready to do the mod on the uh, tremolo block and install the new electronics. These pickups have great output and they have quarter inch slugs which uh, are really pick up the string. If you bend the string, the string flux stays over the element and uh, with an element that big, a quarter inch, wow, look at that. And 
these pickups have uh, a lot of output. We've got about a 17k resistance on the bridge and about a about a 12k on the neck. The middle pickup has the same size slugs in it. They all match. And the middle pickup, which is the single coil of the set, is a RWRP, which is a reverse round, reverse polarity, so that when you go into the second position on the switch, where you're running the bridge and middle pickups together, the uh, sound is balanced out. You have a balance in the, um, in the phasing. And notice also that the way this switch is wired, of course you can't see this, but I just wanted you to understand that when this is in the second position, the rear pickup automatically splits. I've wired the switch so that it will split the coil on the bridge pickup, and you'll only be running one coil with the middle pickup, so that you have a true single, single Strat sound. Same in the neck and middle position here, you'll be running this row with the middle pickup so that you have a neck single and a middle single in the traditional neck uh, quack uh, position and the bridge quack position. When you run it, of course, all the way back, you have full bucker in the bridge. All the way forward, you have full bucker in the neck. So this is a great sounding set of pickups and we're going to demonstrate this to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.